But now the Hoover Dam faces a new challenge, one over and above the natural variability that it's coped with so well, man-made climate change. Some scientists believe that the current eight-year drought is just the beginning, that global warming and a rising population mean water will become ever scarcer. The question is, will the lake be able to cope? I'm here to meet one man who's done a detailed study of what the future might hold for the people who live here, Dr. Tim Barnett. So what's the uh, prognosis for the lake and the dam? If nothing's done, if we continue business as usual, there's a 50-50 chance that the uh, Lake Mead becomes ineffective in about 2021, early 2020s. Uh, even sooner, uh, the power intakes for the hydroelectric power generation go dry, and that goes out of commission perhaps as little as 10 years from now, again, with odds 50-50. It's quite a frightening scenario. Uh, I think the human beings in this part of the world don't understand what the word sustainability means. I mean, we could easily be right at the edge of uh, civilization, a sustainable civilization in the Southwest. That means not just Vegas is at risk. Many other cities built in the desert are under threat, from San Diego to Los Angeles. Predicting the future climate might be one of science's most complex challenges, but uncertainty over the detail isn't a reason for inaction especially when there's a 50-50 chance that the water supply to 20 million people could fail. And that's even without a sudden acceleration in warming. I think virtually everybody I know in the business that's had a look at real data and look at models is surprised that what the models say seems to be happening sooner than they project. It's a really a nagging worry that there's something we've missed or somehow we're underestimating the speed at which this thing's going to go down.